What's up everybody? It's Pender God here as always and today we gonna try some new art supplies and and this means that today we have some traditional speed paint and black paper sketchbook. Yeah, I think this will be really interesting. So just keep watching. <laughs> Hello again, and can you believe that I forget about this sketchbook almost for two years? So my last artwork here was in 217, and before I continue to fill my sketchbook, I need to test my new art supplies. First marker, it is the cheapest one. It costs me less than dollar, um, around 17. 70 cents and the second one is the expensive one and it cost me for 20 dollars and acrylic paints almost four and a half dollars but i need only white acrylic today and other colors i think i'll test maybe later so the first test of the cheapest marker Mm, not so bad, but it's not quite good. Uh, it's not a thick layer. Maybe on camera it looks like something really white, but it's transparent. And of course, um, it is not my micron pen and line is really thick. And what what wrong with Pentel? I don't know. It was really expensive and it is almost like water and a little bit of white and it smells like uh, paint for cars so it's really not good thing for um, my little room and I think that I spent too much money on it and I'm so mad so angry and so disappointed but what can I do what can be wrong with the marker I don't know and about acrylics i actually don't know how acrylics have to be so i quite like it i made sketch before because you know it's a pencil and it's black paper so it's not that easy to capture this moment and and the first marker, marker i tried in my art it is uh, the expensive one, Pentel marker, and it looks, it works. Uh, here it works because it looks like watercolors, and I think it works for this, um, especially this artwork. But I don't recommend it for uh, those of you who uh, wants to work with it, like with Sakura pen. So because it's too thin and it's too transparent and it's too expensive. A little bit about this artwork. I, uh, when when I stuck with my thoughts about new artwork, I just googled something that in my mind. Uh, today in my mind was Clint Eastwood, so yeah, it was really big inspiration for me, and uh, I decided to do Mink Eastwood. Of course, because I'm obsessed with minks, and right now is October, and all almost. Uh, all of my artworks are with minks, so it's kind of a minktober. And um, about the cheapest marker that I test today, it works quite good for background, but not in the first coat. I have to do three coats, and uh, it was not like really solid, but it works for this artwork. And of course I use my little metal palette. I bought it from one dollar store and um, one of my newest brushes it is squirrel brush 
So I decided to use that to make some transparent textures and uh, it was a good thing that this acrylics uh, dries really fast, like, you know, 20 or 30 seconds and it is completely dry. Mm, not all of my markers dry so fast. <laughs> and, and so, what conclusion could we make from this video? Um, I think that these art supplies are not really bad, but they are quite expensive, because, you know, you... When you spend ten dollars, you mm, expect something with the good quality and the thickness and the other things. So I don't think that it's worth it. But maybe for just trying, why not? And guys, if you have an experience with uh, particularly these art supplies, write me in the comments. It will be interesting to read your thoughts about it. And I hope you watched this video till the end, so I'll meet you when this artwork would be finished. So guys, this is it. This is the final result, my Mink Eastwood. <laughs> yeah, it turns really cute, despite of this Pentel situation. I don't know, maybe it's just my marker is not that good, but I don't know, if you have something like that, write me in comments, was it good or bad or, you know, maybe something else. So, but I actually love this one, the cheapest marker, because three layers of it uh, at the background make almost white solid coat, and yeah, I like it. And of course, I like these cheap acrylics, they are really, you know, like mm, really pretty, and uh, structure is pretty, and uh, it dry really fast, so I like it. Uh, write me in the comments below, did you like this idea or not? Um, maybe I need to do uh, more on this black paper, or maybe not. <laughs> so yeah, write me in the comments, guys. 
So guys, I hope you like this video. I'm sorry for my voice, but what can I do? I hope you like this video and if you like it, um, subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up, comment and uh, yeah, have a good day. Bye! Thank you.